In this video, we're going to talk about how buying a 2x long levered ETF is different from just taking the underlying and buying it with 2 to 1 leverage on your own. And to really understand why these two things are different, we're going to have to examine what the fund manager or the ETF manager who you buy an ETF from has to do to promise you daily returns of two or three times the underlying. So we're going to look at a specific example. We're going to imagine that there's an ETF that promises you twice the daily returns of an underlying. And the underlying in this example we're going to assume is the S&P 500. And this graph over here shows the movement of the underlying from day to day. So let's imagine that we the investor gives the fund manager $100 of our money. The fund manager takes that $100 and promises us twice the daily returns of the underlying or of the S&P 500. Now how does a fund manager actually promise us those returns? Well what he does is he takes our $100 and then he borrows another $100 and then buys $200 worth of the S&P 500. And therefore he is positioned to actually deliver twice the return of the S&P 500 the next day. So the next day in our example over here, we assume that the S&P 500 goes up by 10%. And because the S&P 500 goes up by 10%, that means that the original $200 that the fund manager invested in S&P 500s is now worth $220, meaning $200 plus 10% of 200. But of this $220, only $120 is money that we're entitled to because the fund manager has borrowed the other $100 over here from a bank or from a brokerage firm to be able to buy the $200 worth of the S&P 500. So really out of this $220, only $120 is money that we the investor can claim. And you can see this over here. So notice the fund manager has done what he's promised. He's taken our $100 and turned it into $120 and because the S&P 500 has gone up by 10% and our money has increased in value by 20%, he's done what he's promised and he's given us twice the return of the S&P 500 on that day. Now the question is, what does the fund manager have to do to promise us twice the return on day two or the next day? Well now the fund manager has $120 sitting in his fund assuming that we don't withdraw the money assuming that we keep our money there the fund manager now has $120 in the fund and so he needs to buy another $120 worth of S&P 500 to be able to promise us twice the daily return of the S&P the next day. And so we show this over here. Here's our $120 Here's the $120 the fund manager has to go and borrow, and here's the $240 in exposure that he has to have by the end of day one. Now you'll notice that if no one withdraws money from the fund, then all the fund manager really has to do is just buy an extra $20 worth of S&P 500s to get him to the exposure that he needs to have by the end of the day. And that's a really key observation. Because the price of the underlying went up on day one, we the investor have suddenly have more money in the fund manager's fund, which means that the fund manager has to go out and buy more of the underlying to be able to meet his obligation to us the next day. And so put in other words, when the price of the underlying goes up, the fund manager has to buy more of the underlying. Now the opposite is true if the price of the underlying goes down. So let's imagine that on day two, the next day, the S&P 500 goes down by 10%. Well then, in this case, the $240 worth of S&Ps that we bought the previous day is now worth $216. Basically, $240 minus $24. But out of this $216 over here, the fund manager has borrowed $120 the previous day. And so what that really means is that we, the investor, have a claim to only $96 out of the $216. $216 minus $120 is equal to $96.
And so what that implies is for the fund manager to have the correct exposure the next day to be able to promise us twice the returns of the S&P 500, he has to have 96 times 2 or $192 worth of S&P 500 on. And so that means that he has to sell this amount or 16 plus 8 which is 24 dollars worth of S&P 500 to be able to get him from 216 long S&P 500s to long 192 S&P 500s. And so put another way, because of the price of the underlying went down on day two, the fund manager has to sell S&P 500s or the underlying. And so the big picture is this. Because the fund manager of this double long ETF has promised you twice the daily returns of the underlying, that means that when the price of the underlying goes up, the fund manager has to buy more of the underlying. And when the price of the underlying goes down, the fund manager has to sell some of the underlying. In the next video, we'll look at how this behavior of buying when the price of the underlying goes up and selling when the price of the underlying goes down leads to a divergence in the returns of a 2x long levered ETF versus just levering up the underlying ETF on your own and holding it.